Okay, so I got a lot of stuff done. There's a bunch more stuff I want to print. Problem with most of the stuff I want to print is it's like over eight hours or this or that. So here's the um, the HF antenna. This is the the short coil version, and it uh, it takes eight hours to print these. It's got the grooves in it here, and I guess you have to drill the holes into it. It doesn't have a way of printing that for you. I got a lot of this uh, hair on this. I don't know if I need to change my printer settings. So basically, these here, one of them kind of screwed up. I had to clean it up. Go on the ends here. And these are really heavy because they're two and a half hours. They're 100% infill. Um, anyway, so this thing has contact right here, an acorn nut, basically, goes up and down, and you move it with the wandering lead, and that's your, your HF antenna. So, I thought it'd be cool to print black and white ends. Um, so, basically, these don't fit in super easy, so you probably, you know, have to fiddle with them a little bit, and then get everything done and then you glue it here is a microphone holder that I found on Thingiverse it's a replacement for um, the MD1 they don't have an MD100 but it's for the MD1 and I'll show you that microphone here in a second so it actually doesn't even look anything like it so, it's possible that they just named it that and it was actually the Kenwood. Because it looks a lot like the Kenwood one that I don't have, but um, it's really cool how thick they made it. So, the one I need is these, the MD100s. And that one's got a crack in it. And uh, my other one, I'm not sure where the hell my other one is. I've got another one that somebody gave me. It's actually taped together. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, that one there. It's all taped together. So, um, I think they're both going to be fairly close. So we'll find out here in a second. Okay, so just get an idea here. How close is it? Well, it ain't gonna fit that. So, and that's the one I would need it for. But it, it will definitely fit this one. So what it looks like is it was engineered for this one. They just changed the shape of it a little bit more. Probably to make it easier to print. So. Should I ever need one. I have one. <laughs> So, um, there's an MC60 and an MC50. Um, I'm going to have to go and check and see how close these are to that. But um, if I can go into the software and just change this a little bit, uh, the scale of it, I might be able to just do that and make it fit. But right out the gate, it's just not going to fit. So, it was worth trying. I mean, 
It's not completely useless. I don't use this microphone very much, so I shouldn't be concerned about dropping it or anything. But the MD100, that's another story. They they uh, all crack for some reason. You see right there, it's been glued. So, in many instances, I'm already finding I need to know how to design my own stuff. Like, definitely need to know how to do that. So, I'm going to have to start learning more things. Anyway, so... I gotta get the next print going, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna print, it's a surprise, so I will catch you guys in a bit.